am I the only person that is very unbothered and doesn't give a fuck about stuff like this? Courtesy of the Wall Street Journal, Elon Musk has used illegal drugs, worrying leaders at Tesla and SpaceX. Some executives board members fear the billionaire's use of drugs, including LSD, cocaine, ecstasy, mushroom and ketamine could harm his companies. Why is this news? Especially in the context of now where the fucking unsealed Jeffrey Epstein document documents have been unsealed. We've got all of these highbrow names, people like fucking Naomi Campbell, people like fucking Stephen Hawking, former president Bill Clinton has been featured in those unsealed documents. I think it's like plus more than 50 times, more than 50 times, former president Bill fucking Clinton is on those fucking documents. And here they are talking about Elon Musk being a fucking druggie. So fucking what? I don't care. If anything, he should be on drugs. The way Elon Musk acts, the way he talks, if he wasn't on drugs, I'd be worried. If Elon was sober, doing the things that he does, saying the things that he does, you know, destroying the companies that he has the way he has, right? Like, I would be worried if Elon was doing what he was doing now, completely sober. It's the same thing that made fucking Chris D'Elia such a psycho. Why is Chris D'Elia a psycho? Why is Chris D'Elia a legitimate psychopath? Why is Chris D'Elia a legitimate psychopath? Why? Because he's doing all that diddling, all of that pedo stuff, allegedly, he was doing that completely sober. No victim so far has come forward and said they saw Chris drinking. Chris actually is legitimately sober. Even when he was getting cancelled, he never got pushed to the, to, to the limit of being an alcoholic. I think he said he took some Xanax and stuff. But to that end, that's what makes Chris D'Elia more of a psycho. So if Elon Musk was doing all that he was doing, was causing all the stink that he causes, and he wasn't on drugs, I would be concerned. It actually makes sense that he's on drugs now. Big up Matthew Malone, I appreciate you. My new favourite channel, Big Up My Man. Thank you, Matthew Malone. I appreciate you. Thank you for the donation, brother. Much, 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 much appreciated. I'll use that $5 to buy. Guess what? You guessed it, more ibuprofen. So big up Matthew Malone. <laughs> but honestly, man, I swear to God, I swear to God, this sort of news is so bizarre to me. I can't get my head around it. I wonder if this is like a purposeful misdirection. All of these Epstein documents are here with all these really big, influential, powerful people to distract you. Let's give you the fucking boogeyman, right? This guy that we're all meant to hate, Elon Musk, because what? He says edgy things on Twitter because he's a bit annoying online. Is that why we're meant to fucking hate him? Okay, cool. But is it worse than fucking former President Bill Clinton being on the fucking Epstein unsealed documents more than 50 times? Is that not more concerning to you? Is that not more concerning that fucking Stephen Hawkins being accused of being a fucking sexual abuser and shit? Is that not more concerning to you? Of course not. Let's give you Elon Musk, distract you from that, and then you can go on with your word. It's so fucking crazy. It's so fucking crazy because this doesn't, I, I, like, honestly, if you're Elon, if you're Elon and you, l let's say you believe Elon runs these companies. There is a notion out there that some people believe that Elon doesn't do all the work, right? That he takes credit for all the work. He's sort of like, you know, the modern day version of Steve Jobs. Let's say he does do most of his work. Imagine you're running Tesla. Imagine you're running Twitter. Imagine you're running SpaceX. Imagine you're running um, the one with the fucking satellites for the internet. Imagine you're running the boring company. Imagine you're running Neuralink. How else could one man run all those companies if he's not on drugs? Please, somebody tell me. How else could you run six companies if you're not on drugs? Of course she's doing drugs. What do you fucking expect? What the fuck do you expect? If anything, I would encourage more people of his level to do more drugs because that's the only way you can actually be a high achiever and a high performer. If anything, you know what? You know, I'm going to say out here that out loud, I think most people agree with. I honestly think Elon has had a Neuralink implant in his head or somewhere. It wouldn't surprise me if Elon is currently testing an early version of Neuralink those chips that he wants to implant in people's brains to help with cognitive function and maybe in the future to help people who are paraplegic to walk and maybe it might help you to become more smart and shit it might make you learn languages quicker whatever maybe it wouldn't surprise me if elon is currently now walking around with a neural link thing implanted his head right now testing it so of course he says crazy shit online of course he fucking freaks out online of course he's fucking, you know, got a million kids and took, like, of course, man, of course. Like, let the guy rock, bro. 
let the guy fucking rock honestly if there's one person if there's some people that could get away with doing drugs all the time it's fucking type a people um neurodivergent people or whoever he's got i forgot what he's got why is it asperger's or something right um with a million companies and shit you should be allowed to fucking do as many drugs as you want i'm sorry you should leave the guy alone let him do his fucking drugs writing an writing an, uh, a fucking thousand plus word op-ed on how many drugs he does is really fucking insane but let's read some of the article here anyway it says here courtesy of a person called emily glazer emily glazer glazing elon huh who would have thought it it says in the article elon musk and his supporters offer several explanations for his contrarian views unfiltered speeches and his provocative antics there are expressions of his creativity or the result of his mental health challenges or a fallout from his stress or sleep deprivation in the recent years some executive board members at his companies and others close to the billionaire have developed persistent concern that there is another component driving his behavior his use of drugs and they fear the tesla and spacex chief executives drug use could be a major consequence not just to his health but also his six companies and billions in assets he oversees according to the people familiar with musk and his companies maybe that's the main problem maybe they're not even bothered about the drugs he takes maybe the reason why they're fucking concerned about how much drugs he does is because they're trying to protect their investments right these are board members these are investors in these six companies who are trying to protect their ability to put their kid in a private school, right? All of these board members have their kids in international schools in Switzerland. They're studying in Harvard. They're fucking backpacking through fucking India and shit. They want to be able to provide a fucking, you know, uh, uh, money for them, inheritance for them when they leave. So the one thing they think they want to worry about is drug use for that. They don't even care about Elon's health. They just want to make sure that he's alive long enough to make the money so that they can continue paying for their kids' car note. They can continue buying, you know, expensive gifts for their mistress in fucking Guatemala. They can continue fucking, you know, researching, you know, longevity drugs to help them fucking live longer and siphon off the blood of fucking kids in third world countries. That's what they want. They're not even caring about Elon's health here. They just care about protecting their investment you gotta love capitalism innit? it you gotta love fucking capitalism it continues the world's wealthiest person has used lsd cocaine ecstasy and psychedelic mushrooms often at private parties around the world where attendees sign non-disclosure agreements or give up their phones to enter according to people who have witnessed their drug use and others with knowledge of it musk has previously smoked marijuana in public and sent his prescription of psychedelic ketamine yo everybody does this during the peak of covid during the peak of COVID, some of my friends, I didn't do it because I was a fucking scaredy cat. I was one of those scaredy cats. I was wearing a fucking, you know, that plastic fucking shield thing. I bought one of those shield things from fucking eBay. I had a million masks. I was wearing gloves. I was one of those fucking scaredy cats, right? COVID fucking got me. I fucking swallowed all the fucking nonsense fear mongering when it comes to COVID. But some of my friends during COVID, during the lockdowns, you know what they were doing? They were renting Airbnbs in the UK. I don't know, maybe sometimes outside of London, in Kent, in Bristol, in Bath, in Brighton and shit. You know what they were doing? They were ordering a ton of drugs on the darknet, buying a ton of booze, renting out these fucking flats or these apartments in, in fucking you know, nice places in England. And they were having parties. They were bringing their fucking music. They were bringing Bluetooth speakers, maybe a little DJ MIDI player. And they were doing bunch of drugs, drinking a bunch throughout the entire pandemic. And you know what I heard? I heard loads of people were doing the same thing around the fucking world. They were booking Airbnbs when you couldn't go out and they were doing loads of drugs, drinking a bunch regular people do that if regular people do that what do you think the most richest people in the world do of course they do the same thing why wouldn't you why wouldn't you go to a fucking eyes wide shut illuminati type party where you're fucking snorting fucking coke off of some bulgarian 15 year old's fucking face why wouldn't you do that yes it's a bit pedo-ish but of course you are a bit pedo-ish too because you're a billionaire right name me a billionaire that doesn't have pedo allegations i'll wait exactly it continues in 2018 for example he took multiple tabs of acid at a party house in los angeles the next year he partied on magic mushrooms at an event in mexico in 2021 he took ketamine recreationally with his brother cabal um, kemble mask in the miami house party during art basel he has taken legal drugs with spacex and former tesla board member steve jevetson who fucking cares bro honestly who fucking cares is it a bit losery to be in your 50s doing fucking hard drugs maybe maybe that could be said maybe that could be said maybe it is a bit loserish 
to be doing hard drugs in your 50s. Maybe there's something a bit bizarre about being a 50 year old and you're fucking racking up lines and you're fucking doing pills and shit. And you're in, like, it's a bit strange, right? When you're in your 50s. But still, still, if you're Elon and you're running six multi billion dollar, tr nearly trillion dollar companies, I would understand why you're doing the drugs. What, wh what other way do you have to cope with the fucking ridiculousness of your existence? You being this one dude that's amassed all this wealth, you know, you, you have the control of all these big major platforms and these big major companies and shit, right? You have people's lives and destinies in the palm of your hand. Of course, the only way to manage that fucking stress is to do a, bit, a bunch of hard drugs. So I'm not surprised. But again, like I said, I think these these fucking articles are a distraction i think they're a psyop um, to distract us from the big picture from the things that really matter and what really matters out there is obviously police brutality what really matters out there is inequality what really matters out there is homelessness what really matters out there is a drug epidemic what really matters out there is people suffering still from long covid situations what really matters out there is fucking the rising unemployment what really matters out there is fucking the fucking horrendous situation that's going on right now in congo what really matters out there is the of people in fucking gaza what really matters out there is what's happening with these unsealed documents you know from fucking jeffrey epstein those are the things that are really important those are the things that are fucking really important right those are the things that are fucking important not fucking elon doing fucking drugs who gives a fuck who fucking gives a fuck honestly <sighs> tired of this shit tired of this shit but again what do i know Nada.